It's time to review Jenna. Or Jana? 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 Jana. Yes, guys, it's time to review Jana or Jana or I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I'm going to say Jana. <laughs> In this part of the Star Wars Black Series line, she's number 98 in the collection from The Rise of Skywalker. There's a nice picture of her on the back, which states, From the Oceanic Moon. Uh, from the Oceanic Moon, Jenna leads a band of warriors ready to charge against the forces of the First Order. And from what we know about her character so far is that she rides horseback and obviously has a bow and arrow. Has a lot of Dolthraki style there. Uh, Sort of um, things going on here. Not sure who she's going to be, if she's related to anyone that we know, or if she's a whole new character. Who knows? No write-ups of anything about her so far. Um, so I'm quite excited to see her going into the movie. But let's get on with today's video, guys, and unbox this bad boy, because it looks awesome, and I can't wait to review it. Hey, guys, me, host Super Sora, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Janna. So, like I said, guys, I'm not sure how you 100% pronounce this, but it's Janna or Jenna, and it's from the Star Wars Black Series line. As you saw on the desk, I'm number 98 in the collection, with an awesome write-up on the back, which I've already gone ahead and read. So we're going to go ahead and break her out of the packaging. Let's do this. Right. Trusty Snip Snips. Let's do this. I only took my eye out then. Be careful with your Snip Snips. Don't aim them at your face. <laughs> Here she comes out of the packaging. Yeah, don't know too much about this character. I'm really trying not. The last movie, right? I I was like the guy that was learning everything online. I wanted to know as much about that movie going into it as humanly possible. And then the movie was, in my opinion, lackluster. I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed The Force Awakens. So I'm going into this movie, other than what I've seen from the like the two trailers we've had. Because I've only seen two of the trailers, the ones I've, re I've done reactions to. That's all I've seen, and I don't plan on watching any more. I'm going to go into the film now with just that knowledge, and hopefully, being a little bit more blind about the movie, I might get more into it. Obviously, I'm feeling a bit more open to this movie this time round because, because we've got, you know, J.J. Abrams back at the helm. So hopefully with JJ back, the movie's got back on track to provide us a great ending to this saga. I'm also a little bit more into Star Wars going um, to this movie as well because I'm going to Florida in the new year. We're going to be heading to Galaxy's Edge. So I'm excited to see what, what they've done at Galaxy's Edge in Orlando as well in Disney's Hollywood Studios. Oh, that box was driving me insane. Right, guys, so here she is out of the packaging. Plastic cloth cape, meh, because it's got a hood in it. Why wouldn't this be like the Jedi robes and we can use it? Ooh, horrible plastic cape. Almost want to take it off because it's that disgusting. I really don't like it. But her head is on a ball drain, guys, so you can make her look down as well as up, as well as left and right. Head's a bit loose on that one, actually. Her arms do lift up at this top hinge and do also rotate. There is also a single hinged elbow there that just slides into place and also rotates. They never give us double hinged elbows on female characters, don't know why. Uh, not much scuffage going on from what I can see, although when you, there is a massive gap at the top of the shoulder, which doesn't help, it doesn't look nice. That's a bit cheap. Uh, but either way, she's got the trigger finger hands and a rounded hand. Uh, the belt's really nice on here. We've a fully working holster. She has an ab crunch there, so she can crunch forwards and backwards, as well as left and right. Her legs do lift out, as well as forwards and backwards. Top thigh cut. Double hinged knee. No boot cut, but she does have rocker and pivot on her, sh on her shoes. And then these, at the back of the shoe, she does have the little weird little prongs, actually. Sitting out the back. And she does have little holes in the feet, should you want to stick her on a base. Now, does this head come off quite easily? I don't know. I was going to get rid of that cape because it's driving me nuts. I hate plastic capes. I want to take the one off my Mando. I want to take it. I want to take them off. It's like the one on the Mandalorian. I want to take it off and replace it with cloth. So I'm going to do the same with this eventually. Just that plastic. It just 
you've, when you're doing toy photography, there's nothing worse than plastic because it doesn't bend, it doesn't mould, and it doesn't look realistic on camera. So when you're trying to stand her and it almost, from that side as well, it almost looks see-through. It's, oh, so cheap. Just looks nasty. Uh, well, I'm a bit gutted that, the clear, that she's clearly got goggles at the top of her head that she's using almost like a headband. And it would have been nice if we could have pulled those down over her eyes. She's got the same sort of design as that on her arm as well. I'm not sure what that's inclined to. So she does come with a bunch of accessories as well, guys, including obviously a quiver for her bow and arrow. And she does come with a bunch of arrows that are all clubbed together so we can shove those straight in there. And she does have a single arrow as well, which again I can pop in. She does have the uh, bow as well, which is very nice. I like the silver on the brown, that's really cool. And we've got a nice tan coloured strap. And then she's also got a flintlock style pistol, which has got sort of a yellowish handle to it with a gunmetal grey for the actual weapon. Now this will fit in her sidearm pouch. She does have a fully working holster, so as you can see there, so we can just pop that in. If it if it'll let us. Yeah, man. There we go. It does also have like a nice little grip on the bottom of it as well. So that's nice. So that's slotted in nicely. So let's see if we can get it with the bow. So obviously all these things are meant to fit over. How am I going to put that? Not like that. Let's see, how do these go over a head? I can undo this strap. Will it even... So with the cape, guys, that would mean that this is going to be stupidly tight around her neck. Another reason to remove that goddamn cape. We take the arrows out for now and see what it looks like once I've actually got it attached. It's going to sit around a neck rather than around a back. Oh yeah, that's awful. So when you actually use it and you clip that off, it's going to sit here around the top part of the neck and it's going to look like it's choking it to death. Another reason to want to take that goddamn cape off. I'm going to work out how to do that in a minute once I've gone to uh, desk cam guys. Because it's going to drive me nuts. But yeah, she does also come with um, the bow, and like I said, she, the actual arrow will go through this as well, which is nice, I believe. There we go. So you can have it fully working as well. And she even has, uh, like, a top, around the top part of this hand, she does have like a leather grip, so that's how she's doing the actual arrows. So that's her firing arm. So she would have the actual bow um, in this hand and be firing the arrow with this hand. So I'm going to see if I can get that to look good as well for the desk cam. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and try and remove this cape and we'll go to the desk cam and have a closer look at Jenna. So let's go to the desk cam. Alright guys, I've kind of got her a little bit more using the bow and arrow there as best I could for the camera. Not too bad. Um, don't let that pose, though. I'm going to change it in a second. But yeah, I've managed to get the backpack now on without that stupid cape. And that means this the bow will fit on there as well when I want to use her with the pistol. So I just want to show you the head does just pop off. It is just on a ball joint. So you can just pop the head off. And it does make it a lot easier for posing. So let's go ahead and uh, put all of her accessories around her. And actually get her holding the pistol, I think, would be better. And of course, guys, there she is out of the packaging, looking awesome as always. Loving this sculpt, loving this figure. The only thing I've got gripes with, like I said, is that plastic cape. Get that thing gone. Horrible looking. But um, loving the different accessories and things she has. These ropes are a little bit too big. They do flop around a little bit too much to make it awkward. I've kind of had to shove that around like that. But as you can see, there's a lot of excess sort of rope. And it's nigh on impossible, in my opinion, to get both of these on successfully and comfortably to make it look realistic. 
So I've gone ahead and just used the bow on this one and um, just put the pistol in a hand for now just for display, just to show it off. But yeah, that's kind of how I'm displaying it right now. If I was going to have the bow in a hand, then I would definitely have the quiver on the back. But it's impossible to try and get both of them on comfortably and to do this review. So I've gone ahead and just done this for, for this review purposes, guys. But if someone has actually got any pictures out there where you've managed to get all these accessories on at once, I would love to see it and how you've done it. Because uh, I was struggling like crazy to get all these pieces together for her. You can see Baby Yoda lingering about in the background there, guys. But what are your thoughts on this new figure, Jaina, and how does she look? Or is it Jana? Is it Jaina? I can't tell. Does somebody out there know? Have you heard an interview? Have you heard her say it? Because I've not really seen much about this character yet. Like I said, I'm trying not to reveal too much to myself. Uh, but yeah, loving this figure and how it looks, and I can't wait to see how her character is involved in this new movie. Let me know your thoughts on this new figure in the comments below. But let's go back to the main camera and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this new figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you smash that subscribe button. So you don't miss out on any future content from this channel. As always though guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, smash like, hit subscribe and all that good stuff. And sometimes you even have to go into your app on your phone. And make sure that even though you've, you've pressed the, note, the notification bell, that you've got the active alerts turned on in your uh, sub, in your subscription feed, so that you get told when I upload a video. I'm also available on social media at Super Sorrel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Make sure you add me on social media, as I've got exclusive content going up on Instagram right now, um, that can only be seen on Instagram. And of course, we'll be doing you uh, sorry live streams over on Facebook Live as well. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. May the Force be with you.